Hey sweetest potatoes, today I have my cousin Leju here with me and we are going to decipher the chemistry behind the cyanotype process. Photochemical blueprinting, also known as cyanotype, is derived from a Greek word kainos, which means blue, <laughs> is one of the historically oldest photographic technique that provides blue pictures. And today is classified as the member of member of a family of alternative photographic process. Over to you, Leju. The cyanotype was developed in 1842 by Sir John Frederick Herschel. To do a cyanotype, you coat paper with a solution of two chemicals, light-sensitive iron-3 complex with a ready oxidizable polybasic carbo carboxylic acid and hexacyanoferrate 3. You cover the paper with the negatives or with opaque objects and then expose it to UV light or sunlight. The light-sensitive iron-3 complex is the core of the whole process. That atom coordinates six carboxylic groups contained in the anions of di or tricarboxylic acid. In the case of oxalic acid, iron coordinates three oxalate anions and forms octahedral potassium tris oxalatoferrate 3 complex. This is a stable, crystalline, and relatively water soluble compound. Violet and ultraviolet portions of the light spectrum have sufficiently high energy to excite the tris. That excited complex is unstable and undergoes an internal redox reaction. The central iron-3 atom, as an oxidizing agent, oxidizes the nearby oxalate anion, and it becomes the two carbon dioxides. Then that iron gets reduced to iron-2. Those newly formed iron-2 to plus cations combine directly with the ferric cyanide in the interior of that paper fiber to form the insoluble precipitate of Prussian blue. The starting chemicals stay unchanged in the areas not exposed to light, so you wash out the unexposed areas under running water to remove all readily soluble chemicals and to leave only the blue image embedded in the structure of the paper fiber. Longer exposure time leads to a more profound reduction of the Prussian blue. That original blue becomes gray due to the fact that the Prussian blue is reduced to Berlin white of the composition iron 2, uh, iron 2, C, and 6. When this happens, it's usually a good indication that the exposure should be interrupted. After thorough washing, that image slowly acquires the blue color by oxidation with aerial oxygen. The process can be accelerated by immersing the cyanotype in diluted hydrogen peroxide solution. As a result of this treatment, the picture turns instantaneously blue and reaches its full contrast. Now you understand the chemistry of the cyanotype. If you liked this video, consider subscribing. Thank you.